My name is Annie Sophie and from Thailand, of course. And we're gonna today we're gonna make the fried spring roll. And some uh, some Chinese place will call it egg roll, but uh, in Thailand we call it fried spring roll or pot beer tart. Okay. And uh, the ingredients. So let's look at the ingredient first. This is the um, spring roll shelf, and uh, you can get in the Chinese market. This is on the frozen section. Um, so you put it, you bring it out, and you let it to thaw. Okay. So we have uh, fresh chicken. Okay. And we have the yeah, big yellow onion. This is the oyster sauce. When we make the vegetarian one, uh, we use the vegetarian oyster sauce, which is you can find in the Oriental store as well. The black pepper, salt. Um, some people use soy sauce as well, but uh, to me, I think it makes the fried spring roll go on a little bit soggy, so I don't use. The egg is just used to seal the paper, so we don't really use it. If it's a vegetarian, we use more of the flour. Um, celery, carrot, which is the shred carrot, and the shiitake mushroom, and the last is the um, glass noodle. It's come in a dried package and you have to soak into the cold water for maybe uh, 15 minutes to 20 minutes. And, and then all this, the, the spring roll paper, this one you're going to start peeling it off and damp towel. So that's why your spring roll is not gone hard because when it goes through the air, it's going to be hard and it's going to be hard for you to roll. Okay, so we're going to start with the chicken, we're going to chop this chicken thing. The noodle, um, we're going to cut it, because if it's too long, it's going to be too stringy. So I'm going to grab about a handful there, it's a little bit dry. So we're going to chop this up to make it short. Onion, we're going to chop it a little bit lengthwise, a little bit long. Put just maybe a tablespoon mix into your noodle just to keep the flavor. Onion always give you a sweet flavor to it. And then a celery. I also just uh, gonna add diagonal, cut it. And the chitake mushroom. This mushroom is usually come on the dry. So you want to soak into the warm water, let it soak it up, and it's like you know, the texture is going to change from the dry to the really, really soft. And the stem right here is the part that I, you usually going to cut it. You pull this one open and you use the knife, fillet into there. See that inside? Even like you soak in the water for a long time, it's still really white. And uh, as usually, it really, really... Um, tough to eat if it's uh, not soft enough. Okay, so now you're gonna put it together and you're gonna cut it. Slide it really thin, like that. Really thin, put it in there. Okay, now you mix this thing together. You're gonna put your chicken into there. So you're gonna put a little bit salt into there. About a teaspoon of salt. You don't want it too much because this is going to come with the dipping sauce and the sweet and sour sauce. So you don't have to make it so, so much all kind of flavor because you're going to have sauce with it. You can make it a little bit lighter. Okay, so when you mix it all up and then you put just a little bit pepper. I like a lot of pepper, but to my customer, not so much. So put just maybe half teaspoon of the pepper in there and you kind of like almost make it together. Okay, and then uh, the oyster sauce for the last. So I'm not going to put just the oyster sauce just to keep a inch of the smoky dust in there. They're a little bit sweet, they're a little bit salty. Okay, and then you mix it into there. That's all that's going to be inside your spring roll. It's coming out. I put it in the damn towel and you're going to pull it apart. This thing is get hard so easy. So this one 
move this one out. See, that is like the really a uh, rice paper. They're pretty sheer, and they're a little bit soft. You put the damn towel over it so they don't get so hard. And see now, I'm gonna show you how to roll the spring roll. Now I'm gonna broke the egg out. So that's why we have something to. Usually we're gonna use only the egg yolk if we roll the spring roll. So you use. So we use just a little of this. Put in your spring roll, okay? Just like that. You want a little bit of everything in there, okay? And then what you're gonna do? You're gonna throw this one up. You're gonna use your two finger to tuck it in. So that's way if you not tuck it in tight, when you fry it, it's gonna it's gonna break apart. So and then you roll it up. Come to the halfway, you pull two sides to stack on each other like that. And then you just roll it up as tight as you can. And then you're gonna use, I'm gonna use chopstick again. So I don't have to. And then you just clap it on this corner right here. So this way it's gonna stay together, see? And it's gonna coming out just like that. And this is the fried spring roll. And it's gonna stay pretty well. If you if it's the in the end not stay, all you got to do is just use the egg and tidy it up. And it's gonna coming out just like that. That's all it is. And then you put into the fry. You're gonna fry it about 350 degree on the oil, hot oil. You deep fry it until it's golden brown and everything will be cooked. That's all. That's how you do the fried spring roll. Simple. And then you can roll this up, put it in the freezer bag, put it in the freezer, keep it for your party, whenever they come, put down on the hot oil. And fried spring roll. This come with the sweet and sour sauce with a, a little bit of, uh, if you can see, it have like vinegar, sugar, and uh, um, salt in there, and a little bit of the chili and the carrot, and so now, good part, I can eat it. And thank you for um, watching us, and uh, you can like us on Facebook, or give us a review on Yelp, or subscribe, um, and, or come visit us at our restaurant, Chabai Beyond Thai, Tea Rose Diner, or even Siam Noodle Bars. Thank you.